Good morning everyone, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll be glad to get some lunch in my stomach. Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 11.56am. Alexa, good morning. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. On this day in 1967, the Beatles released their concept album Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band in the UK. In total, it sold well over 30 million copies, with a little help from their friends and fans. Right, good morning everybody. Um, like I said, I don't want to do ranting videos. I don't want to moan. I don't want to complain. I just want to be left alone to walk my dog and be left in peace. I don't know what is going on, but it's not right. It's not normal behaviour from adults at all, it isn't. I mean, I don't know why why a gang of unknown people, and they are unknown, nobody knows who they are. They obviously know who I am, because they're doing this to me on the field. So I don't know them, I don't know any, any of the, the, their surnames, I don't know who they are. I see familiar faces in the street, but I don't know them. They're unknown to me. So I have to say to the police that it's unknown persons stalking me. I don't know who these people are. It's different people every day. Apart from the one familiar guy that I see walking the dog lunatic. And why would you call your dog lunatic? Lunatic. The black dog with the red collar. That's the only... I don't know the guy's name. I know that he wears a green coat or a green waistcoat and sometimes wears knee-length shorts. And he was the guy that was letting Lunatic jump over Charlie. That's the only regular feature. The only person that I see almost every day is that guy with the black dog Lunatic with the red collar. And I don't know his name. And why would you call your dog Lunatic? So guys, I want to show you what I got from the co-op this morning and when I was in the co-op I asked for two scratch cards and the guy behind the co-op, the trainee, got, got me my two scratch cards. He was being trained by the assistant and he ripped almost one of the scratch cards in half. But he didn't give me that card. He scratched before I got my two scratch cards. The trainee assistant had ripped a scratch card right down the side, almost half of it missing. And I thought, don't you give me that scratch card, please, because I want my cards in perfect condition. Because they can actually say you defaced the card and not refund your money. If you've got a scratch card that's been ripped. The staff can turn around and say, we're not giving you the winnings because you messed, tampered with the card. So I was watching what was going on. He ripped the card almost in half. Out. It was an accident. He's a trainee. And she threw the scratch card in the bin. So that was three, that, three pounds in the bin, wasn't it, that the co-op lost? And I hope it wasn't a winning card. Because technically... If somebody takes that card out of the bin and it's a winning card, so they can claim on that. So how many times has that happened? So I've got a co-op bag. I've got plenty of food. I've got plenty of food in the flat, so I didn't go for food today, apart from some Jaffa Cakes raspberry flavour. No raspberry flavour. Um, as it's getting towards summer, you know, hopefully I'll be able to have, have a picnic by myself with me and Max sat down and hopefully be left alone. So I've got myself a sandwich box. So you can fill it up with little sandwiches and put your snacks in there. It'd be nice to sit by the riverside or something. And a water bottle. A Triton track bottle, decor, so I've got that, saving that 
for when it gets really, really hot and I cannot stand it indoors, I might just sit on a bench. But I tell you now, I have difficulty sitting on a bench. This is before social media as well. It's nothing to do with social media. When I was living in Gloucestershire, I had to go to work. I had to, right? I was harassed on the bus. I had grapes thrown at my head, chewing gum put in my hair, and they were throwing paper planes at me on the bus going to work. You see how serious this is? I was just going to work to do a job. This Jenny business is getting out of hand. I'm not Jennifer. So it happened in Gloucestershire and the child that was taken off of me wasn't Jennifer's child, it was mine. So they're covering something up and it's getting serious now when they're attacking my little dog, right? Why can't I go outside? Why can't I sit on a bench in peace? Why can't I walk somewhere and be left alone? It was all right yesterday afternoon. There's hardly anybody on that field. As soon as my mother Jennifer rings, it starts again. And it's been catalogued in this diary. So I've, I've started it off with Sunday. 8, 10 a.m. I get a message, morning, you okay? At 9.25, my mum calls me whilst I'm on the field. I've had trouble. Saturday, Jennifer called me at 8.07 p.m. and 8.32 a.m. There was no lunchtime call and lunchtime was very quiet. No trouble on Saturday. After mum's call, I'm in in, I'm distressed and so is Max and she tells me that she's in all day and I can call her if there's any trouble. She's already mentioned dogs in the, in the phone call to me. I'm an adult, I don't want to keep ringing my mother. I'll end, all I do is end up calling the police and they don't do anything. 10.17 a.m. Charming Glow text off Flirt Finder at 10.12. That's good. will be nice to meet you. At 8.04 a.m. Before I get asked if I'm okay, Charming Glow text. Just wondering if you are free this coming Friday and would like to meet. Whereupon a guy on a bicycle comes round the corner fast and um, this dog comes towards me and Max and it's big. I told my mother about these people with dogs being a nuisance and it's getting worse again. Kid shouted dog out of the window this morning. And there's dog shit outside the flats this morning. Runny dog shit. So I concentrated on drinks. So I've had a banana, you so I've got a chocolate, you so I've got a Robinson's raspberry and apple juice drink. That takeaway has made me feel sick. I've, I've still got an upset stomach, would you believe? Two days after eating that shit, I've got burning down the side near my chest and I feel sick. What did they put in that takeaway? Shit. Did they shit in it? I wonder what it... Well, what's sometimes spreading around about me is getting quite serious. I wouldn't put it past them if they put dog shit in it. <laughs> Belgian chocolate mousse. I did get that because that's easy on the stomach. I don't know what the black business is, but that needs to stop. That's racist hatred. Anyone being found guilty of racist hatred and hate crime, I, I would imagine that's serious. So I'm going to have a couple of sausage rolls. <laughs> 
Last night I was at home by myself struggling with my mental health because it does affect you. It makes you feel horrible about yourself. Especially when the police are now saying they're not arresting anybody and they're letting criminals out early. Well, why don't they send these criminals to army camp? I mean, you've got Rishi Sunak t talking about sending 18-year-olds um, um, like to the army or to learn jobs. Why don't they do it with offenders then? If you can do that with 18-year-olds, surely, you know, when someone's committed a crime, it's wrong. You shouldn't let them get off. You should uh, send them to army training or put them in a job and make them work. You don't put criminals on the streets to re-offend again and harm the public, surely. <laughs> you know, if somebody's made a mess, it's not the members of the public, then whoever it is that's made a mess of this country needs to tidy it up. Because this is lawless Britain. And I, every time I go outside my door now, I wonder what the fuck's going to happen. Right? If I go outside and I don't speak, right, nothing. Am I, am I bugged or something? Because it happens every time I go, uh, if I go outside and I'm completely silent, so I don't make a phone call and I don't speak, nothing tends to happen. But if I want to document what's going on outside, out the bullies come, out they come in force, trying to stop me speaking. Now, what are they hiding? What are they hiding? What are they covering up? Why can't I just be left alone? It's free speech in Great Britain. They can speak. They can eff and blind. They can do what they want. But I have to stay stuck indoors silent. I don't think so. So I've got money, I've got my bits from the co-op, right? Nobody should be afraid in their own home or when they go outside. This is ridiculous. I mean, what was the, what was the purpose of leaving me alone with a man in the co-op? What did you think was going to happen? And then leaving me on the field and then these blokes are go coming up to me with giant dogs. What do you think is going to happen? And you'll be fucked if one of those dogs bites me. You really will be fucked. Because the dog will get put down, that's why. And the owner will get sent to prison. Now, it, it, all I'm saying is, right, I've been on this planet a long time. I've been on this planet more than these bullies. I'm older than these men that are laughing their fucking heads off. I'm old, I'm strong, and I'm fucking... I've, I've been through this before many times, right? Whatever you're hiding must be really, really serious to try and fucking... Hound me off the field, hound me off the path and fucking bully me when I'm in my flat as well and I've had enough of it. See you later.